In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for HCl plus KOH. This is hydrochloric acid and potassium hydroxide. When we write net ionic equations, the first step is we want to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it's already balanced, so we don't need to do anything. We can move right into writing the states for each of these substances. HCl, that's hydrochloric acid, which is a strong acid. So it's a strong electrolyte. It's going to break apart into its ions. We're going to put AQ for aqueous. It'll dissolve in water. Potassium hydroxide is a strong base. So it's going to break apart into its ions as well. Put a little AQ. It'll dissociate in water. KCl, that's potassium chloride. We have ionic compounds with potassium, very soluble, and with chlorides, also very soluble. So we're going to put an AQ. That's going to dissociate into its ions as well. Water is a liquid. So we have the different states here for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes apart into their ions. This is going to give us the complete ionic equation. So we can go to the periodic table, and we can see that hydrogen here, that's in group 1. So it has a 1 plus ionic charge. Chlorine over here has a 1 minus, like everything in this group here. Potassium, that's in group 1 as well, so that has a positive charge. And then the OH, that's the hydroxide ion. You're not going to find the OH ion here on the periodic table. This whole thing here has a charge of 1 minus. So we have that. We said K was plus, Cl is minus. And then when we have liquids in net ionic equations, we don't break those apart into their ions. They don't dissociate enough that we want to break those apart. So we have the different charges. Now we can split things into their ions. We have H plus, and I won't write aqueous each time, plus Cl minus, plus K plus, plus the hydroxide ion, OH minus. And these are our reactants. For our products, we have K plus, this K breaks apart from the Cl, plus the Cl minus, plus we said we don't split liquids apart, so we're just going to put H2O. And these are the products. So now we have the complete ionic equation. Next, we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. So we see we have Cl minus here in the reactants. We also have it in the products. We can cross that out. It hasn't changed. We have K plus here, and then in the products, K plus. And cross those out as well. And we're left with the net ionic equation. H plus plus OH minus gives us H2O. I'll clean this up, write the states, and then we'll have the net ionic equation for HCl plus KOH. And this is the net ionic equation for hydrochloric acid plus potassium hydroxide. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.